Um, question 10, uh, you are presented with the diagram of f of x is log of x to base 4, uh, going through 1, 0 and um, 4, 1. And they ask you to sketch the inverse function. Well, to sketch the inverse function, you draw the line y equals x. That goes through nothing, nothing, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, etc. And you reflect this line over. So, um, 1, 0 goes to 0, 1. And 4, 1 goes to 1, 4. And then you obviously do your best to sketch that one there so that that's a line of symmetry for it. And that there is the sketch of y equals f to the minus 1 of x, the inverse function. Okay, on to question 11. A and C are the points 1, 3, minus 2 and 4, minus 3, 4. The point B divides AC in the ratio 1 to 2. Find the coordinates of B. Now here's a really uh, quick way of doing this if you've not been taught this before. You write A and C, the two coordinates of A and C. It might help if I do open bracket there. There we go there. Okay. And then you write the ratio 1 to 2. So A, C in the ratio 1 to 2. Here we have it. And here's, here's the trick. To get the x-coordinate, you do 2 times 1 plus 1 times 4. Remember, you, you kind of cross thing there. So you're multiplying the, this one by 2 and that one by 1. So let's go back to the x-coordinate. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 times 4. And then you divide it by 1 add 2, which gives you 3. On to the y-coordinate. You do 2 times 3 plus 1 times minus 3. Then we have it there, and you divide it by 1 add 2, which of course is 3 again. And for the z-coordinate, you do 2 times minus 2 plus 1 times 4. Concentrating on the z-coordinates there, and you divide it again by 3. Okay, tidying this up here, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4, 2 and 4 is 6. Divide it by 3, uh, you get 2 of course. 2 times 3 is 6, plus minus 3 is 3, divided by 3 gives you 1, and 2 times minus 2 plus 1 times 4 gives you 0, and divide that by 3, of course, you get uh, 0. So B is the point 2, 1, 0. And part 11B says, um, here we go, K times AC is a vector of magnitude 1 where k is greater than 0 determine the value of k. Well, what actually is a unit vector? Well, as I just said, it's a vector where the length of it is 1. So let's get um, let's get the length of a to c, OK? First of all, um, let's get the vector from a to c. 1 to 4 is 3. 3 to minus 3 is back 6. Minus 2 to 4 is up 6. So 3 minus 6, 6. How do you get the length of a vector? Square the components, add them and root them. So we have 3 squared plus minus 6 squared plus 6 squared, which gives you 9 and 36 and 36, which is the root of 81. Very handy, it's 9. So the length of A to C is 9. So the length of a a unit vector parallel to that will be a ninth of AC. So there's AC 3 minus 6, 6, and each component has to be divided by 9. 3 ninths is a third, uh, minus 6 over 9 is minus 2 thirds, and 6 over 9 is 2 thirds. And that will have a, a, a magnitude length of 1. So determine the value of K k is a ninth. And just by the way, if you actually squared all these terms just to prove it, a third times a third is a ninth. Minus two thirds times minus two thirds is four ninths. Two thirds times two thirds four ninths. Add them all together, you get nine ninths, which is the root of one, which is one. Just confirms it.